the engine that helped power the airplane saved the world and ended World War II. The Wright R-3350 is the star of the show of US history, and we'll show you how. Is that the true story behind the airplane engine? Or is the media twisting history now? What may have happened in history may only remain in the eerie air around the corpses of the past. Would we ever uncover the real truth? With which engine was the first nuke transported? The Wright R-3350 Cyclone 18 Radio engine is a massive, complex engine which powered significant aircraft like the Boeing B-29 Superfortress to help end World War II. Talk about being the main character. It's 2023 and we're still talking about the engine that plays the superhero. The R-3350 is a round engine with two rows of nine cylinders surrounding a common geared drive shaft spinning a four-bladed, controlled pitch propeller. A supercharger and other improvements gave the Cyclone engine incredible power making it one of the most commonly used radio engines in the United States military and civilian aviation too. But what happened to the once mighty engine in the present day? Are they still in use or developed into something better? Or are they preserved for their energy and help throughout the war? But the overhaul of this engine soon became a massive foundation for competition. The support and supply systems were in place to overhaul the more complex engine without too many problems. The experienced workforce overhauled 38,678 R3350 engines in the Oklahoma City Air Material Area between December 1943 and December 1952, according to Tinker History Office documents reviewed for this article. This high number was driven by the B-29 Superfortress having four R-3350 engines. The Cyclone 18 engine also powered other aircraft such as the Consolidated B-32 Dominator, Fairchild C-119F, G, Boxcar, Lockheed C-121 Constellation, Douglas A-1 Sky Raider, and the Lockheed P-2V Neptune. Boy, if R-3350 produced such a rise to the airline economy, what would be its real story behind the savior moment? Before we answer that, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Despite the momentum it got for its savior moment, this engine was beaten to a corner with other equally valuable airplane engines. For example, the R-3350 was an improvement in design from Curtis Wright's R-1820, which added a second row of nine cylinders. The second row was added behind the first in a compact design which filled the spaces between the cylinder heads for additional horsepower. But all this wouldn't work without the first pressurized airplane creation. As you can see here, this airplane right here is the reason for one of your common means of transport. Before we get into what differentiated the Lockheed Super Constellation from the original aircraft, let's first take a look and see how the world's first pressurized airliner came to be. In 1937, Lockheed had been working on a plane called the L044 Excalibur a four-engined airliner with a pressurized cabin that would enable it to fly above bad weather. So, no worries about crash landing into garbage cans. Now let's get into an interesting story of how the first ever plane was created. Aren't you curious? In 1939, when a man with bottomless pockets requested a meeting with Lockheed President Robert Gross and Chief Engineer Hall Hibbert, the man told the Lockheed executives that he wanted a fleet of planes that could fly non-stop across the United States. At the time, Lockheed also wanted to build a large aircraft that would convince people to fly rather than take the train. Lockheed sure had two things in mind, develop the US economy, and he also had the people's best interest at heart. The customer was a stubborn one at heart, not hesitating to order Lockheed around the construction of a flight. He hoped to hire Lockheed to design a revolutionary aircraft capable of comfortably shuttling 20 passengers and 6,000 pounds of cargo across the United States, offering commercial aviation's first coast-to-coast non-stop service. Over the coming years, the plane that Lockheed called the Constellation or Connie, for short, would dominate global travel for decades. The Constellation would become the epitome of grace in a propeller-powered plane featuring a distinctive triple tail and a dolphin-like fuselage. Flown by airplanes worldwide and the United States military, the Constellation was a revolutionary passenger and cargo aircraft. That was a successful mission, but would the future missions go equally smooth? The first airplane is quite vintage indeed, with the green seats and overall vintage look. The world sure has come a long way, from leather green seats to private jets. What will the world evolve to next? One to make imprints, the Boeing 307 will forever remain intact on the frozen pages of history. What do you think of the liberating airplane engine and the first ever pressurized airplane? What do you think gains more recognition as both of them are equally as important in history as they are in real life? Comment your thoughts down below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more such videos.